In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, one app called as COE Maker Command Center, which is part of the Center of Excellence Core Components. Now, in Center of Excellence Core Components solution, if you would navigate to the apps, then you will be able to find one app called as COE Maker Command Center. You can run the app from here. It's a model driven app. Now, the purpose of the COE uh, Maker Command Center app is, you know, once you open this app, you will see a whole bunch of things over here. One is, uh, you will see the first is a bookmark, okay? Now the bookmark is basically the app which has been bookmarked by a admin uh, so that makers can have a look into it. And then it is all defined in solution area as well, okay, categorized. Now the maker command center app is basically for the makers, okay? So admin controls some of the aspects of it and maker can see what admin has uh, allocated them to see the resources and at the same time maker can provide some sort of a request okay now what kind of request now the request can be for environment creation or uh, updation of the data policies okay now on the left hand side you may see environment and data policies now there is a non-compliant task uh, then there is an environment request then there is a data policy request uh, and then there is a data policy search okay so uh, these are some of the requests which ad uh, makers can uh, do on this particular app now let's go one by one now i'm not going to go in a sequential order but let me first go to environment request now environment request is basically if a maker wants a new environment to be provisioned they can provide a request okay so they can click on say new and then uh, the new uh, particular environment might get, you know, like provisioned or they can uh, view the, uh, the current environment request, what they have submitted. Uh, and also uh, maker can cancel the request if they have already submitted this request, okay? So let me cancel this request and this is how this cancellation will look like, okay? So this is a simple uh, approach basically. Earlier, it was based on, you know, uh, a Canvas app, but now it is, you know, like it is based on uh, the model driven app. So it's the same functionality There is nothing much has, you know, changed. Okay, so I'm not going to go through in this. It's a simple step process. Maker will come here, request for an, uh, uh, like a new environment, and then uh, those environment will get either approved, rejected by an admin. Now, in my previous video i've talked about dlp impact analysis so dlp impact analysis is one of the apps which allows you to understand the impact of the data policy which you may create as an administrator now if some of the apps or flows might get impacted then admin make sure that uh, those makers are informed well in advance uh, and ask them to take some action now the actions can be to uh, uh, update the app, delete the app, you know, it, it gives some sort of a notification to an uh, administrator uh, for a maker, uh, like uh, as you see over here, like this is one of the decision which was submitted, I think a minute back. Uh, now, what that does is basically it allows makers to uh, align with the data policies uh, set up by an administrator for your organization. Now, all those requests might come here, you know, under uh, non-compliant task, okay? Now, let me minimize this, okay. Now here, if you see that uh, it comes as a part of open decision, one of the item, and the second item is like admin, a uh, maker has suggested that they might migrate this application. So what does this list indicates is that a new data policy is being set up by administrator administrator has identified apps or flow which has been impacted by this they have notified the maker and maker has made one decision that he might either migrate delete or update the app but in this case maker has decided to migrate the app to the new environment for which the policy is applicable uh, now here if you read this it says uh, delete means this app is no longer required you will delete the app from environment Migrate means this app is required. You will migrate the app to new environment that supports the required connector combination. 
update is this app is required you will update the app to use allowed connectors only now you can view the impact and uh, you'll see the blocked connector and you can even change your decision you know if you decide that hey you might delete the app yes you save the decision and then you know like some uh, information might get you know like uh, viewed over here open decision resources to delete resources to migrate resources to update and once you refresh the screen you will see that all those changes are being reflected correctly now that's about non-compliant task in data policy request you can you as a maker can um, say say provide a uh, policy change request okay uh, now let me show you by clicking on new in new if you see if you say action request is apply a policy to an environment so if there are many policy which has been created in the back end now if you find a dlp policy now remember this dlp policy there might be more than 100 dlp policy but it is only visible like three or four you know now where are all those other policies uh, defined like admin can control that and if admin make that policy visible to maker maker can see this now let's assume this is the policy which is maker is interested in and they might say that hey why don't you apply this policy to say alm prod okay and business justification is uh, control okay now if i submit this request then uh, admin will receive this request uh, an admin will go into the like say i'll just show you if i have that app defined admin maker command center. let me go into the admin command center and open this app and uh that but we we can define we can see this information in an, another app also uh, which is uh admin environment request let me play this app and you can see this information in the power platform admin admin view app as well so let me open that as well i'm not going to go in much depth in this but this i just want to show you uh, where those requests comes in so this is for specifically for an admin if you submit an admin uh, environment request to make any policy changes those all things will be received over here now this is where admin will see all the environment which has been requested and this is where admin will see all the data policy which has been requested okay so you may need to refresh this and then you know uh, you will see all those requests which has been submitted now these are like the request which has been recently submitted if you see and if you see the details is like control social media post you know which is which is the one which is submitted and if i approve or reject i can do those action over here as an admin now uh, let's not digress so this is where you know like you will see all the maker command center request over here now that item has disappeared because that action has been done by an admin now similarly if we go to data policy search you will be able to search for the connectors to find data policy that allows their usage it's a huge list because the connector is like more than 800 connectors which you have and now if you search for a connector now let's say assume that this is block adobe this is one of the uh, policy which has been created so if i search for only adobe connector then I will see that hey for block Adobe you have not blocked all the Adobe connectors you have left PDF services creative cloud and acrobat sign so maybe you can then request an admin to make those uh, corrections uh, and this is basically just searching for or validating the data policy which has been already been created within your environment so a lot of information for makers and they can provide some requests to an admin and they can also do some sort of searching on the connectors to make sure that all the data policies are ethered to by an end user. So that's it, folks. This is all about COE Maker Command Center app. Thanks for watching.